Hello everyone, this is Shyam Nishan Chaube here and I am really really happy that Gourmet Passport has given me a platform to share my uh, views about uh, one of the most important uh, uh, important thing about food that's called plating. Now you wonder why you know you, when you go to the restaurant you always see a very tempting plate. Uh, this is not because uh, because uh, it's because of that gourmet ingredient or because of that extra spice or because of that uh, extra sauce that is actually plumbed on the plate. It's not because of that. Because the arrangement is so well done that you sometimes, you know, you don't even feel like eating. Uh, you know, you uh, the basic uh, thought is that uh, you always eat from your eyes first. So it is very, very important for us to understand that art of plating is, is really important in the culinary business. So we need to ensure that we plate it so neatly, so cleanly that that the customers who come find the foods, uh, find the arrangement of the food so delectable that the comments are always nice. So, you know, so I, I am here to, you know, share some of the tip that I thought, uh, that I think that would be really valuable uh, in, in, the, in, in the trend and uh, I, I, if you follow that will be really really good. So uh, you know as I, as I talk I think uh, there are five tips that I would like to share. First one is, is like arrangement uh, because you know you always, uh, you always carve your thought, you always uh, uh, talk to your chef and then you, uh, you make a framework basically. Uh, to understand that how you will like like to play like to play it, uh, like uh, like you know you like to play the main ingredient here and then the the uh, the sides of the dish here and the sauce will go there so you know so you, according to the plates you create that that framework so that's the first thing that you do second is uh, simplicity you know i think uh, I think sometimes you need to be, you need to plate very simple. You know, sometimes simplicity is very, very elegant. So uh, a simple plate with not oh, too much overloaded with herbs or spices, not too much of sauce. Uh, you know, uh, uh, putting uh, I mean, put on the plate. Uh, so sometimes I think it's it's very nice if the plate is very, very simple. Third and third, which is very, very important, is balance. You know. So uh, when I say balance, the balance is between the sauce and the main ingredient. Say you have we have a chicken dish and then then the sauce is uh, is, uh, is is a, is a beurre blanc or, or sauce is a, is a jus or a sauce is a gravy. So you should put that proportion of uh, sauce on the plate which uh, which supplements well to the main ingredient. Also sometimes you should also you know do this thing that you should pour the sauce in front of the guest. I think that will be very very artistic. That will be very very noteful. I think the guest will like the hot sauce is is, is you know is, uh, is delivered on the table and it is, it is nicely poured, uh, well explained. So I think that would be really really nice. Fourth would be proportion. The proportion of carb or the proportion of starch to the protein uh, or the meat. The protein when I say protein is the main in, is the main dish, like chicken or fish or or, or paneer or uh, tofu. You know anything which is the main dish. If uh, the amount of uh, the amount of carb or the amount amount of starch should be on proportion in proportion to that, it should not be too much that that sometimes the key ingredient is lost, sometimes the main ingredient is lost, and then you you are quite confused that whether the sides are the heroes or the main dish is the hero. So it's very very important to ensure that we strike the right balance in terms of plating. Fourth uh, would be key ingredient. You should always highlight the key. key ingredient whatever is the main thing on the plate that should get the main uh, main uh, that should get the main uh, main strike and you should always you should always uh, you should always uh, uh, focus on that that it should come out really really nice also it is very very important that the plate should be very very clean you know when you when you plate it make sure you you uh, clean the plate well before it goes to the plate also one more tip that i'd like to add that Try to put everything edible on the plate. Uh, don't put anything. Don't put anything which is non-edible. Don't put. Uh, don't put garnishes which are non-edible. I think that's that day. That day days or the era is gone now. So we should focus on edible garnishes, edible flour, microgreens. Those things are very much on. So make sure that you you only garnish with edible stuff, substances or or an ingredient. So these are my key tips. I I hope that I. Uh, I justified my views in terms of art of plating and thank you very much. Stay safe. That's the most important thing and looking forward to see you all very, very soon. Thank you.